happy scribe tutorial make money with happy scribe hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel today we are taking a look at happy scribe and how you can make money as a transcriptionist or a subtitle writer so let's get into it now happy scribe is a super super popular platform that enables people to translate a lot of different languages to form captions to form you know other transcriptions and subtitles now other than that this is a platform that is widely used by things by large businesses or enterprises like BBC, Forbes, Spotify, United Nations, RTE, DPA. So it is really a very large platform and it is super easy to make money here as well. Now you might be wondering, hey, it only says to receive their services. How do I actually make money off of Transcribe? I don't want to get transcriptions. I actually want to make money. Well, don't worry because we're going to be focusing on making money. But before we get into that, you need to make sure you're fluent in any one of these languages. So you can see they have these languages and these are the ones that you should either be fluent in or, you know, have a good grip on. So if you don't know any of these languages, then this might not be the best video for you because these are the languages that Happy Scribe works on and, you know, they transcribe or provide captions for these languages. If you want to work in any other kind of language, you might have to find a similar platform to transcribe in but for happy scribe these are the languages so they still have quite a large diverse section a they have english and from english you have all types of english so american australian canadian united kingdom whatever and you have icelandic hungarian hebrew greek indonesian italian japanese japanese Khmer, uh, korean lao latvian mandarin or region so you know you have a very large directory that they work in so if you can speak any of these languages or can write any of these languages or understand them, you can easily work over here. Now, to actually get started with making money, the section for you, to do that, you actually are going to scroll to the bottom. And when you're scrolling to the bottom, you can actually see they have so many different features. Now, these features can actually be a lot of support to you as a person that is working as a transcriptionist for Happy Scribe because these APIs, integrations, all of that really works well and automates your process as well. Plus, it is rated a, a 4.8 out of 5 on Trustpilot, and Trustpilot is really a app that enables people to know whether or not another application is working or not. So, you can see a lot of people love using Happy Scribe as their transcription or caption writing services. Their services are, you know, super seamless. And for you, that actually means that you're going to be able to find, you know, good amounts of work in whatever language you're working in. Because a lot of times you work on a platform, but they don't have any work to do. But for Happy Scribe, you're always going to be able to find a lot of good work to do. Now, once you scroll to the bottom, you will actually see this section over here. It's called freelancers. Now from here, you have a bunch of different sections. If you want to work as a transcriber, a captioner, a EN to ES transcribe translator, or a EN to FR subtitle translator. So these are the open positions that they have. And then you have a basic FAQ. Now I would recommend giving a basic reading to the FAQ. So am I required to speak English to work as a freelancer? Any previous experience? So you wanna make sure you are a great transcriptionist. You don't need to have any prior experience, but you need to be able to have strong language skills, love grammar, and you cannot uh, tolerate any typos or misspellings, attention to detail, and curious and patient. So you can see all the requirements can be listed over here. As long as you have a good grip over a language, that is all you need. And in terms of equipment, you just need a keyboard, a laptop, you know, a computer, a keyboard, or just a laptop and a updated version of Google Chrome. That's all it is. And you don't need any complex things and you don't need to be registered on any platform, but uh, this is all you need. And then you have how much do you pay? So this is a very, very different kind of uh, things, but this is like an average rate. Depending on what kind of uh, thing that you're doing, uh, it might be more difficult. The linguistic level might be more difficult and you're going to be paid accordingly. But for English and you're just writing transcriptions, it's going to be 0.9 euros per minute. Then for French, it's going to be 1.3 euros per minute. So depending on the language, you're going to be paid variably. And if it's transcription, you get paid a little less. If it's adding subtitles, you get paid a little more. 
Now, to get started, all you have to do, let's say we want to start as a transcriber because that's a little easier. You can just click on the bottom section over here and then you can get the permanent pay, the average monthly pay and the top monthly pay. Then you can just click on apply and then you can apply for the job. So you can enter your name. You're going to enter a suitable name like so. And you can see over here they have apply for and now these are the current open positions that you can apply for English to Spanish, English to French, Italian, Polish, Catalan, Swedish, other language, Dutch, German, Spanish, French. So transcription and subtitling or subtitle translation. So subtitle translation actually does pay you a little more because it's going to be a you translating subtitles so it takes a little more time. But let's say we have French, you can click on sign up over here and then you can check out your application. You're going to get an email link in your uh, inbox to get started with the application. So you can see over here, this is that. You're going to click on start my application and then you have some basic things. So you're going to click on read guidelines and then you get a basic questionnaire, a result, all the basic things you need to know to begin writing with their platform and then you can go on ahead and get started now for anyone i would recommend you don't lie on any of these because you're going to get work assigned to you based on the level that you answer so if you're cheating or lying on these tests it's just going to make it more difficult for you to be able to do the work that they're going to give you but you can see the pay is very good and the best part about it is that they actually have a AI generated application, like an AI application that generates the translations for you. So the basic translations, they're going to generate them for you. After those basic translations, you don't actually have to, you know, hear hundreds and hundreds of hours worth of audio or video recordings. It's just going to give you a basic translation. Then you're going to fix grammatical errors. You're going to fix typos, misspells, all of that stuff. So you're going to be basically fixing a pre or a sample set of uh, language translation, but that really reduces the overall amount of time that you have to spend on actually doing the work. But it still is, it's, I'm not going to say it's not a job, it's a job, but it is a very well paying job that can be really rewarding if done correctly and can really boost you to be able to work in a super efficient manner. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with Happy Scribe. It's easy, simple, and they are still in taking in more applications depending on your language skill set. And in the future, they might just open up transcription jobs just for English language, if that is all you know. So you can check out their website later on as well. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.